Hey guys, it's Kelly. Welcome back to an all new release rambles. So I'm going to be sharing my thoughts on a few new makeup products in today's video, giving you guys a little bit of commentary, what I think of them. Am I planning on picking any of these up? So let's go ahead and hop into it. Oh, and as always, I will have my new releases playlist and Samantha March's Community Will I Buy a playlist linked down below. But the first product, let me scoot over. I haven't filmed one of these in a long time, actually. So I have to like remember, like, okay, Kelly, move over. So the first product is from ColourPop. There's always something from ColourPop. And they are actually re-promoting their eyeliners. And I'm a big fan of the ColourPop eyeliners, so I was pretty excited about this. It appears that they have a few new shades available and they are being repackaged, but with the re-promotion comes a new price tag. They're all at 50 cents more than they used to be. Feel like ColourPop started off as being a very affordable brand and they're still definitely less than many brands are still in that drugstore realm, but I definitely see their prices creeping up slowly but surely. The, the prices on their older products are going up and then the newer products that we're getting are more and more than I would expect for ColourPop. So, but I feel like a colorful liner is so much fun, especially if you're someone that is intimidated by wearing color, you can do a very neutral eye look and then just pop a green in the waterline and it gives you such a fun flare to your look. Or if you would traditionally put a light, like a beige color or a white in your waterline to kind of open your eyes more. You can use like a pastel blue or a pastel purple in your eye to also get that bright wide open effect, but you get a little bit of flair with some color. Okay, Blue and Tilly, those are my cats. They love to sit in the window so much and now that it's finally warming up, they can sit in the window and they're getting in a fight right now about who gets to sit in the center of the window. BH Cosmetics has a similar release coming out. Theirs are going to be $6.50, so about a dollar more than the pencils from ColourPop. And they don't have as many color options available. They're a little bit more neutral with a couple of blues in there. But I am still intrigued by this, especially that more turquoise blue. I maybe will pick one of these up. If they come into Ulta, I might snag one, but it's not on the top of my list to pick up. In celebrity news, everyone is coming out with a makeup line. I think we've known this for a while now, but it's like every episode I'm like, so-and-so has their own makeup line now too. And the next one that we have heard is Bieber Beauty, which is from Hailey Bieber. Also, now that she got married, it's so weird for me to say Hailey Bieber. Hailey Bieber. But Hailey Bieber will also have some competition with Ariana Grande's new makeup line. Now hers is not necessarily confirmed the way that Hailey Bieber's was, but they she has trademarked the phrase, thank you next, which I mean, she could do a lot with that, so it kind of makes sense that she would. So according to Trend Mood, it sounds like she's more focused on the direction of body products as opposed to makeup and other forms of cosmetics. And I have to say, I love Ariana Grande. I feel like many people do. I know there are quite a few people that, I mean, yeah. let's just say she's polarizing. You either love her or you cannot stand her. Personally, I love her. But actually, the peak of my Ariana Grande love happened a few years ago, like 2014, 2015. I would probably use the word obsessed to describe my fascination with her. And I'm not as big into Ariana Grande these days, but I think she's so talented and I feel like she really actively promotes strong women and women's rights. So I think that's pretty cool. And I'm interested to see where both of these makeup lines lead. I think it would be challenging for me to tell you whether or not I would buy anything from the lines right now because we don't know what they're going to release, what the prices look like, so I will have my eye on them. But in general, I'm a teensy tiny bit bored of celebrity makeup lines and just makeup lines in general. I feel like the market is so saturated that I kind of question why so many people still are getting into it. I guess I don't question it, but it's risky to do that. It's just a very competitive market these days, you know? Okay, next, Anastasia Beverly Hills is coming out with a body oil, a shimmering body oil. And I feel like this is a little bit ironic because I recently posted my Brands That Excite Me video and one thing I said in that video was everything Anastasia does, I'm so intrigued by, they're so ahead of the trends and then they do this to me. They come out with body oil like a year late and I'm like, Anastasia, I just said that you were on top of the trends. Don't make me look like a liar. And this is going to retail for $38 and maybe I'm not the right person to ask because I'm just not a body oil person so I can't even fathom spending more than like $15 for a body oil because it's so simple to create your own. You can just scrape off a little bit of your highlighter, mix it in with an oil that you already have or mix it in with some lotion and then rub that on your body and then you made that for free out of things you already have. So 
It's challenging to justify high price tags for this. And Anastasia kind of surprised me with this because they tend to be slightly more affordable for high end. They're like on the lower end prices of high end. This doesn't really make sense, but I think you guys hopefully know what I'm saying. So I was like 38, this should be 24. Sticking with glow, but other forms of glow, Charlotte Tilbury has, okay, so the window, so they were in the window over here, and now there's a window over here, and the window, this window is barely open, it's like just a little crack, and I just sat here for so long watching Tilly like hang down, trying to like shift herself into that little crack, and she's like laying in there with the window basically touching her back, so let me go open this for her. Okay, part of me was like, you look so uncomfortable, I should move this. But then after I moved it, she didn't sit up. It's so funny, I'm like, you're a cat, so maybe you liked that. You know how cats just love to be in the smallest space possible? She's probably like, mom, don't open the window. I want it to be closed on my back. So Charlotte Tilbury Glowgasm Palette. Um, I don't want to spend too long on this. I'll just say that face palettes in general, I tend to pass over. I don't reach for them often enough to justify having too many in my collection. And I already have a lot of highlighters, but... This definitely is pretty, the packaging is beautiful, and I am interested to one day try something from Charlotte Tilbury, but I don't think that this will be it. But what do you guys think? That shimmery pink shade, I kind of am into. I used to be so against a shimmery blush, but they're growing on me, what's happening? Or like blush toppers even, which I think that would be pretty as, so we'll see, maybe I'll watch some reviews. Okay, something that I definitely don't need, but I really, really want is the new highlighter from Too Faced. So they have done a whole Clover collection before. Clover is the name of Jared Blandino's dog. And this highlighter is so pretty. And at least based on the swatches, it looks like a color that is pretty flexible. It looks like it'll work for quite a few skin tones. And I would be lying if I said I didn't want this for basically just the packaging. Now at the time that I'm filming this, we don't have all the details. It's basically just a sneak peek that has been announced, but I know that in the past with their Clover releases, they have donated a portion of the profits to different animal groups. So hopefully that's what they'll be doing with this one as well. I think it's so stinking adorable and the swatches are stunning. Okay, the next one is something that has been out for a while and I'm so late to the party I debated even talking about it in this video. But as I said, I have not filmed one of these in a while and I kind of just wanted to chat about this. The Fenty bronzers. These are so beautiful and this is another thing where the packaging is drawing me in. I'm trying to not really purchase any bronzers right now even though there's just an influx of bronzers on the market these days and so many of them are catching my attention. But I'm really trying to focus on the bronzers that I have. I'm very close to panning. Well, very close. I'm close-ish to finishing my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula. I've got huge pan on my Becca, not huge. I'm exaggerating so much in this video. I have decent pan on my Becca bronzer. So I'm really trying to actively work through those before I add too many more. But that being said, I think once I finish one of them, this is a bronzer that I'm adding to my wish list. I know Ashley Clady reviewed it, had wonderful things to say about it. I've seen quite a few people mention it in Sephora VIB recommendations. So. I'm interested. I'm usually, I'm usually a glowy bronzer kind of person, but sometimes, you know, it's nice to have a matte bronzer to switch it up, you know, different looks, different bronzers. And finally, some news that has me pretty intrigued. You know I love the Kush Mascara from Milk Makeup, and they are expanding that line. They're going to have a waterproof mascara, and that doesn't interest me because I hate waterproof mascara. I just rip out my lashes trying to get it off. But I am intrigued by their lash primer. So I have to say, I'm always back and forth on lash primers. There's a little part of me that's like, Kelly, it's just a gimmick. Don't waste your time. Don't waste your money. But there is another part of me that feels like sometimes they do work and sometimes they do a little something, something. So most lash primers, I would probably just pass over. But I'm like, okay, the Milk Makeup Kush Mascara is already so fantastic that I'm optimistic that the primer will also be amazing. And if it is, I will probably try to pick that up. But that's gonna go ahead and complete this video. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing my thoughts and I'm so intrigued to hear what you guys think about these releases. Are you planning to pick any of these up? Have you already picked any of them up? Are you skipping over any of them? Let us know down below. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next one. Bye.